we see the stream of hot gas coming out of the nozzle of an airplane or other jet engine because it distorts, refracts and blurs the image of objects behind it. This is how we simulate it in Photoshop. We make a duplicate of the background and convert it into a smart object. This is necessary so that the filters that we will apply to this layer become smart filters and we have you can change their parameters at any time. Next, go to the Filters menu, Filter Gallery, and select the Glass Filter from the Distort folder. Use the Distortion slider to adjust the strength of image distortion and the Smoothness slider to adjust the amount of distortion waves. We choose the texture of canvas, or frosted. To provide dynamics, apply the Motion Blur filter from the Blur section of the Filter menu. Use the Angle parameter to adjust the direction of the blur, which will coincide with the orientation of our engine and the distance parameter, the intensity of the blur, exhaust movement speed. Next, we include a black mask for this layer. Go to the Layer menu, Layer Mask, and click on the Hide All item. With a white soft brush, draw on the mask, the place where the exhaust from the desired engine nozzle will be. By holding down the Option key on Mac or Alt on Windows and left-clicking on the layer mask in the layers palette, you can turn on the display of the mask itself to better see the areas of the mask's influence. Let me remind you that the white color of the mask is an opaque area, i.e. this layer is visible. The black color is transparent areas, i.e. this layer is not visible. Repeatedly clicking the Option key on Mac or Alt in Windows on the layer mask disables its display. If there are several engines and they have different angles, duplicate the layer with our effect. Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows. Fill the mask of the new layer with black color. Command Backspace on Mac or Control Backspace on Windows and use a white soft brush to draw a new place for the exhaust. Next, double-click with the left mouse button on the Motion Blur filter and change the angle of the blur. Also, if necessary, you can change the settings of the glass filter, for example, if the second engine is at a different distance from the viewer and you need to change the size of the distortion waves. If we need identical parameters, then we can simply delete the filter on one layer and copy it from another by holding down the Option key on Mac or Control on Windows and dragging the filter from one layer to another with the left mouse button. Have a good flight. Oops, photo manipulations. Thank you for liking and subscribing.